Hello everyone, welcome to APS Deep Academy and this is your mentor Swati Joshi. In last classes, we completed our discussion on bipolar junction transistor. We also discussed its few applications as transistor and as in switch or as an amplifier. Now, from today, we will starting a new unit which is field effect transistor or FET. This is the very basic or introductory session on FET. In this class, we will discuss the differences between BJT and FET so that the understanding of FET will become easier in further classes. Now, let us begin the class. We studied BJT. We know that this is the symbol for BJT. This is our emitter terminal, this is our base terminal, and that one is our collector terminal. So, BJT is a three terminal device. We also have its true type which is NPNN, PNP. So, it is a bipolar device because plus and minus both charges are working in same devices. So, this is bipolar in nature. And it has three terminals. Now, the second one we already discussed that the collector current which is IC is nothing but beta times IP. It means the IC is nothing but it is function of IB. It means it is current control device. Okay. Current control device. So these are the few, uh, you know, observation we already discussed in our earlier classes that BJT is nothing but bipolar junction transistor. It has two types, NPN and PNP. So, it is bipolar in nature because holes and, uh, you know, electron, these N are electrons and this P are holes. So, uh, both hole and electron are take part in a, uh, in a simultaneously in a particular device, both minority and majority charge carrier working simultaneously in a device. And the second one is, it is a function of current. Output current is a function of input current. So, it is a current control device. Now, we will discuss a basic introduction of FET, what FET or field effect transistor is. So, this is the, uh, you know, symbol for FET. FET is also a three terminal device, but here the three terminal are drain, gate and source. Okay. So, this is the basic, uh, you know, symbolic diagram of FET. And here, the output current, which is drain current, is the, uh, is function of VGS which is the voltage difference or the potential difference between these two terminals. It means ID is not dependent on the current but it is dependent on the voltage. So, it is a voltage control device. Voltage control. Why so? Because the output current or output current ID is function of VGS which is nothing but the gate source uh, the potential between gate and source. So, it is a voltage control device. So, this is the first, uh, you know, difference between two that FET is our voltage control device whereas the BJT is our current control device, okay, current control and voltage control. The second one is FET we have N channel and P channel. It means in N channel, the majority charge carrier or electrons will take part, uh, you know, in whole uh, device, in whole uh, conduction or the process. And in P channel, the holes or positive charge are take part in conduction or whole working process. It means the electron and holes are not working simultaneously in the device. In N channel, only electron, uh, the current flowing uh, inside the circuit or the output is only depend on the majority charge carrier, which is electron. And in P channel, the majority charge carrier are the holes, so the current is depend on that. So, it is a unipolar device. Unipolar. Unipolar, why so? Because only one pole is working at a time. Either it is hole or either it is electron. So, it is a unipolar device, whereas the BJT is a bipolar device. So, these are the uh, two differences we saw. First one is BJT is a current control, FET is a voltage control. The second one is FET is unipolar, whereas uh, BJT is a bipolar. Okay, so uh, in other term, we can also say that BJT is our majority plus minority charge carrier device, but FET is only majority charge carrier device. Okay, majority. Majority charge carrier device. Okay. 
now we will discuss the third uh, you know uh, differences between these two that in higher temperature we already discussed so many time that bjt is thermally unstable bjt is thermally unstable in higher temperature so the third one we have discussed is unstability unstable at high temperature but here fet we know that only one charge carrier is there so no you know leakage current leakage current uh, leakage current is major minority charge carrier current so here only majority charge carrier is working unipolar device so the third term which is nothing but the stability is better than bjt so it is stable okay so it is thermally stable why so because in bjt in bjt what is happening in bjt the majority charge carrier and minority charge carrier both are working so the leakage current due to the minority charge carrier is flowing so that in it is unstable at high temperature but similarly in fet only one current is there uh, which is nothing but n uh, in case of uh, n channel and p positive holes in case of p channel so it is very stable when we talk about the uh, you know increasing in temperature so if i talk about uh, the last one or easy uh, what is the you know last application of that so it is working as uh, switch switch or as an amplifier amplify similarly here also fet is also work as switch and an amplifier switch and amplifier so it is the you know higher version of transistor if it is unstable in higher temperature fet is stable it means it's higher version of transistor fet is uh, if uh, bjt has few shortcomings fet is overcoming those shortcomings and fet is a field effect transistor in today's class we discussed that how bjt and fet are different from each other and how fet is you know overcoming the uh, shortcoming of bjt so in next class we will discuss the operation or working operation of fet for now this is much we will discuss few more topics on fet on our next class till now thank you so much and subscribe